What's up guys, Donovan Wagner here, and today I'm gonna show you guys what gear we use and why. Stick around. All right, so by far the most asked question everybody gets is, oh, what do you shoot with? I mean, at the end of the day, this really doesn't matter what anybody's shooting with, but I'm gonna let you guys know what we use for still photography and our videos. <laughs> okay, for still photography, we have switched everything over to Sony, simply because they are crushing it in the mirrorless market and because the A7R Mark III, which we have two of, one right here, one this video is being shot on, they are just fabulous cameras. The high megapixel is so forgiving, the ability to crop. Our commercial work is so much better now switching to Sony. So that's why we went with it. I mean, Canon is killing it now with their EOS R, Nikon has their Z7, Z6. They're all great cameras, but we decided to go with Sony because of it was what was best for us. And for videos, we have decided to go down the Red Road, which is an expensive road to go down, but we went with the Red Raven. It's kind of their entry level kit to get started in Red, but it is still amazing. The ability to shoot raw and the dynamic range in this thing is just great. So if you guys are looking in the market for cinema cameras, I can always recommend RED. It's just been great to work with. And it's not as scary as you think. I mean, people assume that if you buy a RED camera, you need the most powerful computer in the world to edit the stuff, but it's not like that at all. Which leads me to the most important part of both photo and video, and that is the lenses. So we have decided to go down the Sigma Art lineup for the most part and in Canon EF mount, so we can use them both on the Sony's for photos and the RED camera for video. So our RED camera is a Canon EF mount and the Sigma makes an awesome adapter called the MC11, which I don't notice any downsides in autofocus or speeds, it's just great. So if you guys are looking at third-party lenses because they're, they are cheaper than native lenses, uh, I recommend it. I have not had a bad experience yet. Well, that is what we use for photos and videos. I hope that answers you guys' question. Let me know in the comments what you guys shoot with and if you guys have had any issues with adapted lenses or what you prefer for your work. I will put links to everything in the description below. Go check them out and uh, let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you subscribe to the channel. This series was filmed at the Highlight Creative Group Studio in Kelowna, British Columbia and is made with the help of our creative team. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel and check us out at highlight.com.